Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate your cheap ass Harbor Freight torque wrenches. Mine had not been calibrated it's basically since I bought them years and years ago, and they did require some minor adjustment. If you have never calibrated yours, today's going to be a good time to do it. So, in order to take the end cap off, you're going to need a strap wrench and a 26 millimeter wrench or socket or circle maker, whatever you have handy. I did not have a 26 millimeter wrench or socket, so we're going with the adjustable wrench in this case. Then to actually make the calibration, you're going to need to be holding the wrench in a vise, ideally. And you're going to need a known weight and a measure. Now if you do not have a known weight, a gallon of water is 8.333 pounds. Now you probably don't want to do your calibration with as little as 8.3 pounds on your 3 8 drive and a half inch drive torque wrenches. So you might need to use two gallons, three gallons, but it's very important that you have a known weight. And when I say known weight, I don't mean pick up a dumbbell that says it weighs 10 pounds and not verifying that it weighs exactly 10 pounds. You want to know what the exact weight is. And that even means if you pick something up and you weigh it on a scale, how accurate do you know that scale to be? So a known weight is something that you know for certain weighs that amount. And we do know for a fact one gallon of water weighs 8.33 pounds. That's what I would recommend. Get two, three gallons of water and use, use that weight. So the easiest way I feel, grab a strap wrench like that. <laughs> and I put the strap wrench on backwards. Uh, edit that out of the video so I don't look like an idiot, please. Alright. Round two. Let's get it done. Now this strap wrench kind of slides because the circumference is a little small for this strap wrench. Now if you do have a uh, 26 mil socket, can use like your quarter inch impact gun on the end of that. It would work really easy. Otherwise, if you can see, I did more of a snapping motion there to get it to break free. You might have to work with it that way as well. But now that this end cap is loose, you want to spin it off. And the way you make adjustments on this is you actually hold this and you turn this in and out. 16 and a half pounds right there. Tighten that. Next thing you want to do is measure back from the center of your drive. One foot. And just make a mark there. So I line my bail wire up right with this mark. We'll see if it's going to click. And it does. Now there it's not clicking. But we want to get it so when we set it right on our line back here, it's just beginning to click at that point. But right now it is clicking all the way up here. And let's see if you can see where my mark is. My mark is right here so this is the one foot we'll take the weight off and we're going to t loosen this jam nut and turn this inner ring in without turning this so we're turning this in Now 
And we're gonna tighten the jam nut again, cycle it, stir it up here. Now it's no longer clicking at that point, that's good. Move it back a little bit. Not clicking. Good. Move it back to our line. Clicked. Perfect. Move it up forward of our line a little bit. Click in there. So we're pretty close now. We'll turn that in just a little bit more. Let's try this. So it's still clicking right there, but it's important the jugs are jiggling around a little bit. So you want to make sure they're not moving and influencing the weight. But that's really, really close right there. We can turn it in just slightly more. That's, that's good. Beautiful. Like I barely breathed on it and it clicked right on that spot. So that's perfect. Um, then you, what you want to do is put your end cap back on. And I just hold it. Give it a little snap in action like that. And you're good. This thing is calibrated. Now here's the thing with the quarter inch, it's the same process, however, you can't just use one foot as your measurement and your weight. So we have to do a little math. We would know our weight here, we know it's 8.3 pounds. Well, what is our distance going to be? Well, our distance is going to be... Let's say we're going to hang it at eight and a half inches. This is going to tell us to set it to 70.54 70 inch pounds. So we'd move this up to 70.54, 70 and a half, 70 and a half right there. And then you would set this. Measure your 8.5 inches and mark it. Which lines up nicely right on that groove. It's not always, it just happen that way. And then the same process. Now I didn't take the end cap off, um, but you'd follow the same thing. But that's how you do the math in order to figure out where to set it to get your accurate measurement. That's it. That's how you calibrate these Pittsburgh Harbor Freight torque wrenches. Give it a try. Test them up against the digital scale afterwards. See how close they are. This is my preferred method of doing it because that's what torque is. It's your weight and your distance applied on the end of a stick. You know, and, and it's 100% accurate to calibrate them this way. How accurate is that digital torque wrench? Plus or minus 4%, right? Usually that's what they're rated for. Well, if you're going to calibrate something to plus or minus 4%, or, or are you going to calibrate it to the exact uh, force and distance? That's, that's the way I like to do them. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a nice day.